हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर दिस ऑनलाइन वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑन सुपरवाइज मशीन लर्निंग अप्रोच डिसीजन ट्रीज माई सेल्फ मिस्टर विपुल कोंडेकर फ्रॉम वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर दीज आर द लर्निंग आउटकम्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो सेशन student will be able to use that classification using the decision tree and evaluate the performance of the decision tree classification now when we are talking about the decision tree we want to implement the decision tree for the classification purpose let us have a brief review of what we have in decision tree and how is the implementation approach you can see the detailed video of decision tree algorithm in the same playlist so when you have decision tree there are some terminologies one is called as a root node so it's the beginning part beginning node of the decision tree so whatever data set you are having that data set will be first made available to the root node then comes leaf node leaf node is the end part of the tree where that will be representing the output node and leaf node cannot be segregated further there cannot be further division of the leaf node now if it is not a leaf node then in that case you can have the segregation so there is a, a process called as splitting process where a node root node may or may be intermediate node is divided into sub nodes based on certain conditions so this is called as splitting then there is something called as branch so whatever split you are applying so it will form a branch so a tree formed by splitting the tree is called as branch or sub tree there is a process called as pruning so pruning is when you are forming number of branches you find that some branches are not required at all so you can remove those branches by having a process called as pruning and then the terminology is parent node or child node the root node is called as a parent node parent node and all other nodes are representing the child node in the tree diagram so these are the various terminologies you will come across when you are talking about the decision tree algorithm let us have visualization so this is the root node so whatever input data is all the features will be given here as the input decision tree then there can be a process of splitting where the node is divided and then this represents a sub tree there will be again a decision node coming and then these end nodes are representing the leaf nodes so there is no further split of the leaf nodes so this is how easily you can have the visualization of the classification approach in case of decision tree in the form of tree made up of the root nodes intermediate decision nodes and ending up with the leaf nodes basically how to build a decision tree just let us discuss in brief and then we will move to the implementation part so you will start with the root node so root node will be given the total data set means all the features for a given instance will be given to the root node and then then in a recursive way just partition that data set into subsets based on the best attributes which is selected now at every node when you are doing the splitting there are some measures used some criteria such as there are some indices called as gini index 
or or based on entropy you can select the attributes which are providing the highest information gain and you will keep those attributes only for the classification and this is a recursive process so this process is continued until you reach to the stopping criteria so this is a basic approach of developing a decision tree now let us move to the implementation of this decision tree algorithm for classification using a cloud approach called as google colab the source code for this particular implementation is refer from github repository and the data sets are taken from the kaggle repository so now let us move to the implementation of the decision tree so on to the google cloud platform let me upload a file python notebook file which is used for the classification using the decision tree here we are using a data set from kaggle for salaries so you will make sure that the data set is available on to the cloud platform so let me upload that salaries data set from my system so this is the data set so data set is been imported now so now let me execute the code so all the data types you want to deal with you want to read the csv file so these functionalities can be achieved by importing the pandas library so pandas library is imported and through which you can read a csv file and that csv file data can be stored into a data frame so file is read stored in the data frame then if you want to view what exactly you have inside the file you can write that data frame dot df dot head so it will by default show you first five instances of the data now if you look at the data we are having four different attributes so we will consider the three attributes as the input and this fourth attribute will be the output but if you look at these three attributes you are finding that these are representing the nominal data so we can go for some encoding where this nominal data can be converted into quantitative data so after getting this file you are considering you are dropping this particular column and then what remains company job and degree that will be treated as a input and this last column will be treated as a output so input output attributes are identified now you are finding that the input attributes are available as a form in the form of nominal data so you will do encoding so label encoder is used here and then we are having encoding of the data in the form of label company label job and label degree so again what these inputs are so these label values you can create it as company and its conversion into a quantitative data is done by this encoder and you will get the company attribute available as company underscore n so number representation of company on the same lines for the job and degree so now if you try to visualize these different attributes so you'll find that company job degree these are the actual nominal attributes but now i could see that there are there are three different companies so that abc farm is named as 0 facebook as 1 and google as 3 so 0 1 2 is the representation for the company now 
on the same lines the job positions like business manager is number as 0 then computer programmer as 1 and sales executive as 2 and degree here you are having only two values taken by the attribute either the person is having a bachelor degree or masters so that's why 0 and 1 so whatever this nominal data is by using that label encoder is now converted into the numbers and then again you can create that input attribute or feature vector now for all the instances in the form of numbers so input n is representing the feature vectors for the input data and this is the output corresponding to this particular data now we want to implement the decision tree classifier so again scikit-learn library will be used and then we are importing the tree and then the model which you will be using is decision tree classifier so whatever inputs you are having so input and output is given to develop the model here so all the values will be used for the training and then you will get a decision tree classifier model developed now at the end you can check the score so it is giving you 100 percent result so let us check a prediction that if this is 210 210 in our case here it is 210 instance number 4 so now instance number 4 corresponds to output 0 okay so now let us predict so if it is 210 what result you are getting so here the result is 0 for the instance 211 211 means what working in google computer programmer and having master's degree instance number 5 so what is the target value for instance number 5 target value is 1 1 indicates what 1 indicates that salary will be more than 100k so again coming here if it is 211 and then if I ask predict what will be the output so it is giving you the result as 1 means salary will be greater than 100k so all the instances are getting classified into two classes whether salary will be greater than or 100k or not if it is greater than 100k I am getting result here as 1 if it is not 0 so this is how the instances are getting classified by using this simple approach called as decision tree you can implement this decision tree now for any of your data set and you can check for the results produced you can evaluate the performance by looking at the score so these are the various references used for making this presentation and showing you the implementation of the same thank you